Yes, this <laughs> cultural festival arc that continues to deliver like a man. Damn right. <laughs> oh no, and take on me. Wow, wow. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> yes, this is very extra. Phantom Thief? Oh right, the balloon thing. I wish they did a whole Take On Me video, that would've been great. Yeah, I feel like she's gonna lose interest in five seconds. Arsene. Is this a confession plot? It's a confession plot. I don't think so. I don't think she solved a single case. <laughs> oh no, he's like, look at him! He just takes everything seriously, no matter how small. He will not stop till he becomes the master of it. You see the balloon thief? I don't think Miyuki would be satisfied with an ordinary confession. He's not just gonna say it. It's gotta be a, a grand gesture. Because he thinks Kaguya is this, is this super elite person that is, you know, way above him that he's not worthy of. He's gonna overcompensate. There's something really smart about that too. If you think you have one shot, then you better make a count. You don't want to leave anything on the table because that will just eat at you later. There actually is a lot to be said, said for that. I think that a lot of times when people approach romantic partners, in a way, they're kind of of doing it in a in a very selfish manner. That's not the right word because it's not a negative thing necessarily. It's just more like they're not adequately putting themselves in, in the other person's perspective. Miyuki Shirogane wants to make her confess part four of probably 50. I really doubt it's gonna end here. Busted. I love how she's just aware of everyone else's romantic desires but can't settle her own. Total coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> of course. No, no. Kawaii so. <laughs> We're so fast and stuff. Touches her face for comfort. And then they sat there for four hours. <laughs> Changing the rules of the game. Okay. That was a sick bee balloon. Who made that? Did Miyuki do that? Look at that thing. Japan is just on a whole other level with the, the crafts. Hey, we got ourselves a meddler. Nice assist. Careful. Careful. I feel like if this were real life and it were me, this would be the one balloon that I popped. It's on the house. Give it to her for free. Oh. Oh. I'll take a balloon and make it. Is this it? It's not. No, no, this isn't the way. <laughs> And then he got inked? Oh, yeah, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it means nothing to her, right? Just, yeah, okay. That was awkward. Oh no, speaking of awkward. I got this wrong last episode. He didn't realize he confessed, or he doesn't realize he confessed. But why is he the only one who doesn't understand the significance of giving people a heart? Like, the whole high school knows except for him. Ooh. That kind of hurts because, confession aside, one of the best things they had going for them was that they were actually building rapport. I mean, that's something that even Miyuki and Kaguya don't have yet. For me, that that's like the best, most positive sign out of everything that they've done so far. In fact, as I've said, I think that's a prerequisite for a relationship, no matter how good your confession is or whatever. I had a girlfriend in my sophomore year of high school like that. Like, we confessed to each other and then started dating, and then, like, never spoke again. <laughs> 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 Somebody needs to let him know, I think. <gasps> no! The title giving me a lot of fear. That's sweet. Would that be so bad? Ooh, afraid of getting hurt. Not intentionally. Oh no! Oh no! Kaguya, no! Brutal. A simple no might also suffice, but okay. Nah. 
I don't think she's the type. And we've established that she is not totally against it. It seems more like a logistical issue. You did him dirty, Kaguya. Accidentally. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Backtrack. This is literally what- this is the best visual rep representation of this ever. Exactly. And then my chance for confession is ruined! <laughs> Both Shim Yuki having the same thought. Be on your boy's side and have his back. Huh? What? Oh, someone else. <laughs> Ooh, how's she gonna handle it? You have to pass a quiz? That seems like a trick question to me. How is anyone supposed to know that? <laughs> She's gonna be single forever. <laughs> How do you take that if you're this guy? <laughs> she gave him the gift of freedom. They're both confessing her for the same time? Bold. Creepy. Do you have abs though? Why are you interrupting? What? I mean, the hypocrisy is pretty funny. The one who is most against high school fraternizing, fraternization, is the one. But she was about to have two boyfriends. <laughs> nah, she knows more than she is allowing. I mean, I think someone should tell her that this isn't like, a marriage proposal. You can just hang out. What was that? <sighs> Miyuki Shirogane wants to make her confess part 5. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> he just gets bolder and bolder. Wow, so casually too. I don't think you need to drive him into anything. Yeah, she's playing like an ancient game that it just doesn't feel the same anymore. We're literally just walking down the hallway. <laughs> you know why he's unfortunately calm? Because he has something bigger in mind right now. This is made so much easier by the fact that he has a grand plan, I think. The mind is very interesting in the sense that you can take a whole whole bunch of things that are objectively different, but whatever is sort of the biggest one on your plate, your your emotions will fill to the maximum for that thing, if that makes sense. So, you know, things that on a relative scale are kind of nothing can be immensely painful or great, you know, depending on what it is and how you look at it. And I think that's a really practical thought and can be really useful to know because perspective is something you can practice. And I know from experience that there are things I thought I would never be able to do or would have scared the hell out of me at some point that now just seem so trivial. And I think it's because my gaze has broadened and I've done things that were more difficult or more intimidating than those things. I've experienced this very potently when dealing with other people. You know, like I'll be struggling with a certain element of something and then I'll meet someone who is just so, so far past me in that, that it becomes immediately obvious that the things I've been so worked up about are are nothing. And on the flip side of that, I'll sometimes talk to people who I can see are stuck on something. And I can sympathize with it, but being at a level where those things that they're stuck on are, for me, just stepping stones to a much bigger and more interesting problem, you get the instinct to just push them through it somehow, you know? You wish you could just give them the perspective, the big picture so that they could see that the things they're agonizing about endlessly are nothing to be afraid of because there's they're just way, way bigger fish. <sighs> Oh, she's a little bit angry. He's moving past her. It's funny, it's like season one and season three are having a battle with, with each other in terms of strategies and ideals. Okay. <laughs> are there any love fortune tellers that don't tell? Couples are great for each other. He's really thinking ahead. Speaking of which, huge shock. That is true. Also true. I mean, she just knows them, right? Hmm. True power couple, yeah. 
take over the world. That's very interesting. それに教え込めば夜もすごいと占いに出てます。絶対そんな結果出てないでしょ。統計値として総出てるんです。もう、we <笑> Our scene. Hmm. Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> this video game movement. Ooh, ooh. This is huge. ちょっと私なりに考えて答えを出すことにしたんだ。かぐやちゃんにゆうくんの気持ちを伝えないと思う。おう、おう。わお、わお。俺なら会長と関係性を進めるのに障害にならん。シュートシュートシュートシュートシュートシュート